Hi, this is Allie with John L. Scott Real Estate. Buying a home can be an exciting experience, but it also can be complex, confusing, and time consuming. To make sure you do it right, here are five common traps home buyers fall into that you should avoid. Number one, looking at homes before getting a pre approved for a mortgage. While looking at homes can certainly be fun, it may be a complete waste of your time. It's like going to the mall without a wallet. Yikes, who does that? Maybe you can afford a lot more, then why waste your time down here? Maybe less, and you just need to bring yourself down a little bit. Number two, falling in love too quickly with a home. We've all been there, the moment you see it, you're swept off your feet, you get butterflies in your stomach, and your heart skips a beat. But I'm here to tell you, don't fall in love with a dream house. While some home buyers claim that you just know when you know, the experienced ones will tell you that all homes come with problems and issues. New homes are listed every single day and you never know what will pop up on the market tomorrow. Instead, make sure you have an accurate picture of the cons before purchasing a house. Number three, committing to more than you can actually afford. So just because a buyer can obtain a mortgage for an expensive home, doesn't mean they could actually afford the home. In addition to mortgage payments, you must be able to budget for other fees and monthly expenses. These may include closing costs, homeowners insurance, property taxes, utilities, and HOA fees. Don't stretch yourself if you really feel uncomfortable. Number four, going on a shopping spree before the deal is closed. So you're buying a new house, why not go with a car as well, right? Wrong! Prior to closing, a buyer should not, not, not celebrate the new house with another large purchase. Think an expensive sofa, car, or anything that requires a loan. The reason? Banks and lenders will be pulling and assessing the home buyer's credit reports before giving out a loan. Unfortunately, a disruption or change in the buyer's financial situation, like that pricey couch you finance with a credit card, can actually disqualify you for the loan. Ouch! Number five, going solo. The sellers have an agent protecting them, looking after their interests and advising them. But most home buyers want to go solo? Sure, you've consulted Google, read some articles, done your research, you're practically an expert but this is likely to be your largest purchase ever, and those emotions will cloud some of your decisions. You wouldn't go to court without a solicitor on your side, would you? It is crucial to have the same protection on your side that the seller has on his. Thinking this list is exhaustive, it's not. There are many other issues to consider, but hopefully this will help you avoid a few common mistakes as you contemplate buying your next home. To get all of your questions answered, contact me at alibosak.com and I will see you next time.